Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Club Musgrave for the 2024 Easter Prestige Open Singles. And what a great game we've got coming up here. A couple of club mates. Um, two very good players. Adam McKeon up against Damien DeLaugo. And, of course, uh, both playing the top grade at um, Tweed Head, so it should be one heck of a battle between Damien and Adam. And Damien, of course, a former runner-up in the state singles. And, of course, um, Damien uh, had a lot of success in the para bowls. And, of course, Adam just had a great deal of success in the uh, world championship, of course, winning the pairs with the great uh, Gary Kelly. Yep, so Damien, yeah, he's good. Good starter there from Damo, first up. Uh, yep. Okay. Adam stick it straight on the forehand. So this hand here seems to be getting a little bit wider because that wind's really starting to come across the green in this general direction now. Yeah, uh, these, both these players have been in fine form to win the first two games, so they're uh, they're into the round of sixteen. So um. Round of uh, 16 winners get $200, or losers, I should say, get $200. No, uh, losers get 50. Losers get 50, okay, so they're into, so yeah, what a great bowl there from Damien. This is round of 16, yeah, that's right, so last 32, yeah. So well done, anyway, still in the money. Covers your entry fee. Right, Adam, tell you what, he's not going to be too far away. Oh, what a great start by these two. <laughs> Gee whiz. What a great start. G'day, Timmy Phillips. How are you, mate? I think these two are uh, not going to be outdone, that's for sure, with each other. Great first up. Couple of bowls. Look at this one here from Damien, too. Not far away once again. Oh, is it going to fall over? I think it could be a bit too close to call. And that was the call from the marker. Yeah, mate, this should be a crack of a game, I reckon, Potter. How you going, buddy? Gee whiz, that's a beautiful track by Adam, just running out of legs, they've had it. <laughs> Sounds as though you're doing it tough, Timmy, eh? <laughs> Good on you, mate. Look, uh, look forward to seeing you, buddy. Catch up soon, mate. Yeah, Damien, pretty good call coming down. Look at this head because it is close. And that last bowl there of Adams could be right. That's about where Damien's bowl came from. His first bowl, uh, sorry, that last bowl of his basically came from where um, Adams' last bowl finished. So he's got to be really, he's really got to be just around it. With that wind coming across, he's got perfect weight on that. I reckon he can easily come around that in my opinion. He's got a uh, good set of drawing bowls. Yeah, you're dead right there too, mate. G'day, Joanne. Okay, Damo, he's got a good line on this one here. Maybe just a little bit too much weight on it, that's all. But he definitely had the right idea to get around that bowl.
Yeah, mate, it is uh, It is nice to see a bit of sunshine, that's for sure. Okay, Adam. Any movement on this bowl is just going to... Oh, they'll tell you what, that's probably giving him shot, I reckon. That's pretty close. <coughs> They're going to put a tape on this one. Gee whiz, that's close. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Adam just snuck in there with that one. Okay, looks like Adam's going to stretch it out too, bollocks. He's got the mat pretty well back on the tee, bollocks, of it from here. Oh no, not really on the tee, sorry, he's up he's up about four foot from the tee. So good medium. Good medium length. Okay, playing his backhand Adam. So he's got a great weekend of bowls here at uh, Club Musgrave. Got a colossal field starting at nine AM again tomorrow morning, same as today. Start off with uh, all three greens, every rink used and as they come off they start putting others out there. Um, draws done in the morning, there's really no draw, you just pick up a card and and uh, it tells you what rink you're on and away you go, so it's really just an open draw, anybody uh, can come in and enter it, they can enter it if you get knocked out the first day, you can enter it and play again on the second day, so I'll see a few names are down again for tomorrow who got knocked out today, so really is a great uh, singles event. Yeah. Oh, he's onto this, Adam. Not quite enough. Good starter there from Damien, though. So, so Damien has set a very uh, respected member of the bowling community and a great guy with it. Got a good line on this one here, being the tighter hand of the two with that wind. Yeah, played that very well. Beautiful way to bowl there. And him keeps knocking that bowl. Knock it one more time, it may be shot. Okay, Damien, once again. Just going to sneak around it. Not quite. Eh, it could be second shot, though. Just call from the marker. Two down. Okay, Damien holding two. The opportunity of adding to it. Really play it either hand. It's an open draw, both hands. He's had a couple of good bowls on the back end, so he's sticking to it. Does not want the kitty, though. Ooh, just running through. Could have been a bit dangerous there. He sliced that kitty.
Okay. And a bit of a measure here. What's the mark, I say? Two bollocks, it. Two. Yeah, it is a good day, Joe. Ideal. <laughs> good day, Andrew. I don't think so, mate. I think he's just using up all his shirts, buddy. You know that. He's got, got plenty of shirts to use, mate. Okay. Damien, perfect line on this one here, just a little bit runny, that's all. Okay, Adam, not far away. Just in behind the kitty, right on the line. Perfect grass line on that one there. So Damien, that's the one he's beating. A perfect line on this one here too as it starts working its way in. Not going to be too far away. It's a beautiful correction there by Damien. Damien, fine form. Damien, Adam, just a bit runny with this one. Going to turn this one in, just like that. G'day, Wayne. How are you, mate? Yeah, mate, I see uh, Jackie's here also too, um, Andrew, because Dino's playing, mate, and Dale's on tomorrow, so. Right, Damien. Sits his bowl. Bang, two shots. What a bowl. Well played. Alright, Adam's got a nice line on this one. He's liking it. He's following it. Uh, locked in a great second shot. A little bit unlucky there. Just caught that on the wrong side. Yeah, these two will have a great battle, Joe. I think Damien's in, in colossal form at the moment. and So is Adam, mate. They're both, both in uh, prestige form, you could say. I noticed... Uh, Yeah, must be home alone, mate. <coughs> Bit harsh, I thought, Troy. Adamant. Hope you keep him well, Troy. Yeah, sorry about your grandfather too, buddy. Regards to Nev and Wendy. Now, he needs the bowl, not the kitty. He's, that's why I said still one down. May, maybe two. Yeah, mate, he knows how I like my coffee, mate. The only thing is, he doesn't put any rum in it for me though, Andrew. That's his biggest problem. I don't know what he has against good coffee, mate. Good coffee always needs rum. Looks like just the one. No, it was the two. Was it two? Looked like two there. The one puddle, is he? I think he had two, yep. Oh, he's holding one, yep. Okay, Damien, going to vary the length slightly. Sack him. No, I won't sack him, mate. 
a bit of an Indian giver though. He came down when we were at um, Pay Up or Harvey Bay last time and he gave me a nice cup of coffee. Then he took the cup home because it was Wendy's. I said, hang on, he gave it to me. Tradition. Tradition. You give someone a coffee, of course the coffee cup's theirs. <laughs> uh, apparently it was Wendy's cup though and Troy got into trouble. I <laughs> uh, love you, eh, Troy. Okay, Adam has not played badly, but Adam, def uh, but Damien definitely got the advantage at the moment. Hey, <laughs> good on you, Troy boy. Hmm? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was too. No. Okay. Good day, Brad. Okay, a couple down here, uh, Adam, looking just to drop about five foot of weight off. What a perfect line on this one here. Has he got the weight? I just don't think he's quite going to reach it. So the bit of cloud cover there at the moment, and the wind, the wind is changing. It's starting to swirl a little bit more now compared to what it was. So it um, wouldn't classify it as easy conditions. You can see how much Damien took on that uh, that bowl there. Just shows you how the wind is uh, <laughs> prominently coming from that side. It's a good bowl there by uh, by Adam. <laughs> no, there's no one through to tomorrow yet at this stage. We've all got another game to play. Hmm. Yeah, he played Tyler, didn't he? So that would have been a pretty good game. So, mate, he might be drinking Coronas because he's out of it, buddy. Hey, we don't know that really, uh, Andrew. We'll find out for you, mate. Yeah. yeah. He played Tyler in that last game. One datum. Yep. Thought that'd be the case. See, Troy reckons his biggest problem is his middle name, mate. I didn't. What well, is it, Wendy? You reckon that's Troy's middle name? Trouble is there. Been a few uh, hoops, mate. We haven't really had much chance to look at the uh, the sheets, mate, to see who's winning and losing. I said we only get five minutes in between games, mate. So uh, I just rushed uh, a beautiful chicken and Caesar wrap just then, which is breakfast. So we're not getting much in between games, hoops. So we haven't really seen, even though the sheets are just inside there. As you know, they put them just on the wall. They're just outside the toilets, but. Uh, Anyway, yeah, great start there by Adam. Adam. Two tweed heads. Score, mate. First to 21, buddy. Now, Damien, is he going to get the right side of this bowl? Not quite. See, Adam's brought the mat up a fair way too, so. Just pulling up. Yeah, 
Yeah, Damien, going to the tighter hand of the two. Playing with a bit of weight, that is basically straight at it because it is a very tight hand, that. See the way Adam always just stands behind the mat, lines up his grass line, then, then moves onto the mat. Uh, good bowl there, not too far away at all. Uh, good bowl. No, Andrew. No, we're not doing that. We're going to um, next weekend, mate. We will be at Salander Lakes for the junior event up there. We're looking forward to that. Should be a fantastic weekend. <laughs> hey, get on your hoops. Oh dear, is he going to sit inside it? Oh, it's just not going to fall. There's probably just the one there. Maybe two, maybe two. Hey, Damien, got the opportunity here, though, just to uh, sit this shot bowl out. He's got a better line, comes down to his weight now. Maybe he's still just a little bit runny. He's going to lock in a good second shot, though. So that's well played, Damo. So Tyler beat Scotty. 21-13. So that's why Scotty's walking around with a couple of Coronas in his hands, mate. Only a John. Uh, we play a lot on grass here, mate. Most of our club's grass greens, mate. Right, Musgrave Hill, wonderful destination. Some great bowls on offer over the next two days. So if you can get down here and have a look at these people in uh, person, I'll tell you what, you will really enjoy what you see. So that's basically on the tee by the looks of it. So really starting to stretch it out now. Well, you just have to move it down a little bit when he gets a chance. Okay, Adam, just slightly narrow with that one. Perfect weight. bowl here from Damien though. That's a great first up bowl by young Damien. See the Darrow boys are making tracks. Darrow Semenko, a very strong club out in the Cunningham district. Yeah, I think Adam's just a little bit underdone. Once again, grass line. Again, weight not too bad. Hey, Joe, and he's playing well. Okay, Damien, once again. Not too far away. It's another great bowl from Damien. Ah, oh, mate. Well, let's open it up a little bit, though, for Adam on the back end. Be surprised if you see a little bit of weight at this one here, looking for the kitty. Yeah, a bit lucky there, but got the result. I said it was there to be played, <coughs> and he played it. So so Damien got the opportunity now to uh, take it out or draw it off. I'd say he'd probably try and draw it off the way he's playing. Just 
Gee whiz, that's a great attempt. Oh, didn't miss that by much. He's come to a very good home there too by uh, by Damien. <coughs> so I think Adam be very aware that this bowl definitely needs a friend. All right, Adam, as you see, lines himself up behind the mat, then steps on the mat. Mm. Definitely the wider hand, of uh, the narrow hand of the two, the forehand. You can see the flags at the back block there is blowing straight across the green. And Dame, he's got the opportunity if he wanted to. He can trail this kitty or attack that bowl. If he attacks the bowl and stays, he'd probably, probably have three shots. I think he's chasing the bowl this time around. He's on a better line. Oh, he's just his weight though, just a bit, bit too much weight. So there'll be just the one there to Adam. Adam McEwen from Tweed Heads. Of course, as I said, he's the Irish international. And of course, Damien's the Aussie international. So we've got a bit of an international affair out here on this rig. So. Uh, two good mates having a game against each other. See Crawford there, mate. Crawford Linton. Yeah, there he is. Okay, Adam kept it uh, pretty much minimum, minimum length by the looks of it. Yeah, this is the wider hand of the two, as we were saying before. Damien. Not too far away. Beautiful first up bowl once again. Oh, don't know how that missed the kitty. Still a bit runny. Okay, Damien doesn't have to correct too much from his first one. Pretty much in the area once again. Yeah, playing well. Uh, Adam sticking to his four forehand. Pretty quick player, Adam. Adam. Just a little bit through the head. Tell you what, well pointed again here by Damien. Yeah. Three good balls. A bit of pressure on Adam here. I'd say he's at least two down, if not three. Okay, got a good grass line. Comes down to his weight now. I think he's just overcorrected. 
Which he has. Not happy with that. A big opportunity here for Damien. About three, three and a half foot to add to the uh, to the tally. Yeah, great ball. Well played, mate. Three shots by the looks of that. Now we have a new leader. Well played. Three shots. See Lovey marking again. Much loved President Musgrave Hill. Yeah, ever so true it was, Joanne, too. Great balls. I'm not going to find out. Kane Nelson's up, Carla. There you go. So Damien, once again, got a beautiful weighted bowl. Just that's just being the narrow hand of the two. They're probably coming in there in the last game from there, but now, as I said, this wind's getting quite strong and coming straight across the green. And this hand they're playing is is the narrower hand. As you can see with this bowl here from Adams. Yeah, not a bad starter. Just didn't get it right in the belly, but... Beautiful grass bowl. <laughs> Pretty hard to tell from here, so. Okay, Adam beating that last bowl of Damien's. Yeah, not the falls over, it could be. Don't think he's going to fall, though. Damien, has he got the run? Yeah, not quite. And it's really put a bit of a detour up on that forehand too, really. Um, mate, you got two problems there, Alan. Number one, if he's anything like Robbie, he's a Kiwi. So, mate, no matter how much you try, there's no way the you're going to educate him. I've been trying to educate Robbie now for years, mate. Still done no good. And talking to his very long-suffering wife, and she said she's been trying to educate him for over 40 years and done no good. Okay, day mate. Good on you, lawman. Good on you, Dave. Take up the game, mate. You'll love it. So, Adam just coming down to have a bit of a look here. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, lawman. I 
I think Chunky went out this morning, did he? Is he still playing? No, Chunky's still playing out there. He's still up there. Yeah, there he is. Is he playing? Marking, is he? Oh, he must be out. Okay. Let's see, Tucker. Okay, Adam on the match. Really, I think, yeah, just look at the wind. I think the wind's really making it hard for them at the moment. So he's sticking to his backhand. His bowls just won't fall over. See Duna out there playing too. Just the one, one to Adam by the looks of it. Uh, Adam's taking the mat back up there again. Two paddles up. Two paddles up. Okay, must have been in that last one. I thought he just swiped it. Oh, okay, they've taken two out. I didn't see the second one go out. Um, yeah, a lot of people use the fingers over here. Um, I played three for years, uh, Minna, and I, uh, I used to always use the fingers of the skip set who's got shot. And When you've had years of experience doing it, it makes it pretty easy. When you haven't had years of experience, I definitely wouldn't be doing it. But I played three for years. Then I was lucky enough to become a selector in my club and I went straight back to lead. Enjoyed life ever since. <laughs> so, Damo... Got the opportunity to roll it. Adam dropped the kitty in the in the pit. There's a lot of people I will say though that I've seen use their fingers, and if it was me, I'd walk down the mat and have a look. So <laughs> a lot of them, I think they, uh, I don't think they're a very good measure for some of them. I'll try to do it. Yeah, good starter here from Adam. And about 18 inches short, but very good try. Pretty handy. Is the little man playing tomorrow or what? He is. Yes, yeah, ah, well. You're in trouble tomorrow, little man, because Robbie told me that he wants to draw best of first up and beat him, and then he wants you in the second round. You want someone to play him into form, mate. There's one thing I've got to show you, mate. If you've got to play the winner of Bester and uh, and Robbie, mate, I'll be counting on um, playing Bester, mate. Adam just sneaking through the head. G'day, Andrew. Good to see you today, mate. Yeah, mate, the green's running pretty well, really. I said we clocked it before around about 15 seconds. Absolute credit to uh, the green staff here at Musgrove Hill. Absolute beautiful pace green. To play your shots on. Okay, Adam, once again, same routine. Doesn't take long on the mat. Lines it up. What's on the mat? Look at that hand just pulling it across the head, isn't it? Yeah, good ball there from Damien. Maybe just a little bit too far. Oh, 
Okay, Adam holding three shots. Gee whiz, that just goes to show you. Hey. That'd be a little bit deceiving at times, the camera angles. I'd say he's way too wide with this one, though. See Duna on the rink next door playing one of the Irish lads, I think. One of the Irish boys. Now Damien. Great bowl. Well done. Lynn, the game's just started. I can see the score there. It's 1-0. I'm not too sure who's on the left-hand side and who's on the right-hand side. It's one of the Irish lads, I think, playing um, Duna. Brendan Egan. I'm not too sure um, what, who's on what side, but all I can see is 1-0 according to... I just looked at the board then. Duna played the first bowl, so Duna's on one. Okay. Damien just got a little bit too much uh, power there. And put the kitty in the pit. It's Joey, and it was a great shot. Yeah, it is Jack, that's right. I'm pretty sure it is Jack, uh, Lynn. The Irish lad. We've got internationals everywhere here. I tell you what, Damien's got a good opening bowl here too, just quietly. Going to be a lot outside this one here. Well played, Damien, once again. Uh, is that you, Lenny, or is that Maxi using up Lynn's data? I bet it's just Maxi. Okay, Adam. Again, not too far away. These are setting up the heads here beautifully, aren't they? Damien once again. It's a little bit underdone. Not by much. He's going to sit this bowl. Uh, played it brilliantly. I knew he's just slightly underdone grass line. But he's just enough to sit that bowl. Okay, Adam. Just a little bit too runny with that one there. Ah, oh, Lenny, call him in to have a break, for God's sake. God, you're harsh on that man. Outside laying pavers. Come on, Lenny, call him inside. Okay, good on you, Lin. Okay, Damien, once again, he's not going to be too far away. Is he going to set this bowl of Adams? Not going to be far away. Oh, I don't know what kept them apart there. Any inside edge off that there, and that would have gone out the head, and he would have stayed. It was very close. So, Adam. Awfully close. Well, probably locked in second shot. Damien would love a little trail on this here, just of about six inches. Yeah, he's a bit wide with that one. I think it's more a positional bowl for him. 
I'd had him sticking to the forehand. Okay, Adam. Seven all, another great game. Jeez, we've had some good games, haven't we? He's playing a more attacking line, isn't he? You can get both those. Well, he got one of them anyway. I thought he could have got both of them. Yeah, it was set up there brilliantly, wasn't he? But he just got his own first, that's all. A little bit unlucky there, but one down. So well done, Damien. Had him in there. Hey, Damo. Mm. He's stretching that a little bit. Okay, Damien, his first bowl. Got a nice line on this one here. The bowl starts working its way into the head. It's not going to be too far away. Yeah, what a great first up bowl. And a knocker. There's a pressure on Adam straight away. Not far away from this one either. Oh, that's a great bowl there by Adam. Gee whiz, that's a class bowl, isn't it? Just play with nice weight. Oh, Damien. What a great bowl. What a lovely reply. Gee whiz, these two are having a great battle. Two very great exponents of the draw game. Absolutely fantastic to watch. Bit tight with that one. Good weight, that one there by Adam. Right, Damien. Yeah, well played again, mate. I think he's going to have to uh, go again on the back end. If he's going to go that line, he's got to go quicker. Perfect weight once again. Damien, box seat here, holding a couple. Mm. 
Right, Damien. Doesn't have to change too much. He just doesn't want to fatten the target too much more. A good third shot and no target would be... Well, he's probably got three shots looking at that there. Be awfully close anyway. Definitely two anyway. Definitely two, if not three. So he's looking just to come around that front bowl, I reckon, of Adams if he possibly could. He's working pretty hard. Just not quite got the run. He's not happy with that. He knows what Adams he knows what Adam's gonna do with his next one, Doma. Okay. Adam, he's had two attempts at it. He has got firmer weight. Well, he took one out. He just thought he was going to sit and stay, but he didn't stay, did he? So that's one to Damo once again. A nine seven now. Trials on that once again. Been a great day. G'day, Jamie. How are you, mate? Seeing you tomorrow, I think, bud. I saw your name on the list, I think, mate, for tomorrow. Yeah, it can be tricky at time. Hoops, can't it? I personally think he should have gone real quick with his first one, mate. I reckon he would have cleaned them out. And Damien's got this hand down packed too at the moment. Oh, not quite here with this one though. Let him off the hook slightly here. And there you got him. Straight back onto his forehand. Yeah, it is, Mark. It's on YouTube, buddy. Oh, just going to run through the head this one here, Adam. Adam McKeon, of course, from the Tweed Heads Bowls Club, as well as Damien. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, Springs. I can't see him at the moment, but I think he. I saw him walk up the the back green before. I think he's still going, uh, oops. As I said, I think he is. I have seen Mark here today, though, bud. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Jamie. He is playing, Robbie just said. So he is playing over there. Yeah, good bowl there from Damo, too. Adam just pulling up just a tad short. What do you got in there, mate? Okay, Damien. Has he got the weight to hold that line? If he has, he's going to be awfully close. Has he got the kitty? That's a great bowl. Well played. Really playing superb bowls here this afternoon, Damien. So, a bit of pressure on Adam once again. That's a pretty good attempt by Adam, not, not quite. Right, Damien looking for that port up through there. Well, it's kind of a pretty good home.
We'll definitely see you tomorrow, Joe. Joe, he is on fire, that's for sure. Really putting the pressure on Adam, isn't he? He's really making um, Adam play shots. Okay. And that's what camaraderie they have, even though they're fierce competitors on the green. Damien picking up the ball for Adam. Didn't even throw it at him. Awfully close with this one here, Adam, though. <laughs> I think he's killed it. <laughs> he had the split on there, too, but I think it's a dead set kill by the looks of that. It's over there somewhere. Yep. So, should be interesting. Replay. There we see our uh, number one marker. Going back out there again, young Mitchie Mears. Okay, Damien. Um, back to the T if we can, pretty close to it. Yeah, he's playing well, Joe. And that's a fact, both of these boys are playing well. <coughs> really is a great game of draw bowls this game. Uh, Until both these boys are in form. And as I say, that dame is going to pull up one short. That'd be right. <laughs> oh dear, commentators curse every time. I've been playing on fire. Okay, Adam, sticking to his backhand. Not far away. Just sneaking round the back. Pretty handy start there, though. Yeah, you got some absolutely champions here tomorrow. I tell you, it's going to be uh, as good as today. <laughs> and that's saying something, because uh, today's been an excellent day of just watching beautiful draw bowls. I'll be slipping, um, just for our viewers, I'll be slipping Ryan Bester a quick 50 tomorrow to try and get Robbie on the stream first up before he gets knocked out. <laughs> Onya Johnny Walker, what a great bowl there from Adam. Beautiful bowl. Hope you keep him well, Johnny. I tell you what, Damien's not far away with this. What a great looking bowl here. That's a beautiful, beautiful reply. Okay, Adam, looking to trail this off. If he can trail it off, he's got three. Didn't really want that one. On that side. Okay, Damien. Emma Spicer must have been knocked out because she's about to mark again. Well, Damien's not far away. It's going to be a good covering bowl there by Damien, though. It's a pretty handy location. Mm. 
Hvordan jeg parler. Hvordan jeg Johnny. Okay, Adam been down for a look. Looking for a little trial. He's not far away. Jeez, he's unlucky there. That really did rip across the head there, didn't it? Just that breeze, mate. It just drops. Anthony King. G'day, Anthony. How are you, mate? And happy Easter to you and the family too, mate. One heck of a game on our hands, that's for sure. Not only champion players, but both are absolutely champion blokes with it too. Uh, should see a great conclusion to this. We'll do Anne Marie. I pass that on to Sean. Oh, sorry, uh, Ryan. Ryan now. Well, this is why you'll find tomorrow. I mean, Robbie Allen played lead for Ryan Bester at Broad Beach for nine years. Robbie, five or six years apparently. And Ryan won a lot of games because of Robbie putting him under the pressure that he was able to put him under. We all know Ryan plays very well under severe pressure. And as Ryan said to me, if anybody could put me under the pressure required, it was definitely Robbie. So, you're probably right there, uh, Potto. A bit wide there with that one, Adam. But no, it'll be a good game tomorrow, mate, whoever he plays. Robbie does play a good game, but he hasn't played for a while. So... I think tonight before packing up he should go out for a three end roll up. Which I'll be quite happy to sit here and broadcast. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that last part just scared him apparently. Okay, a couple of good bowls there from Damo. Not far away. Yeah, beautiful bowl there by Adam too. Absolutely, that's first class bowl. And they may probably have to change his hand now, I reckon. Have to go over to his forehand, being the left-hander. As you can see straight away, they take as much grass as they can. Geez, that's a good attempt by Damien. Very good attempt. I don't think Adam has to change too much. He should be sticking the forehand. Maybe just uh, just staying to the left-hand side of the line. Oops. Oops. One down. Just got the... Uh, didn't take enough grass there. Uh, Damien can actually even play onto this. He doesn't want to spring the kitty, though. Because the kitty is going to go back if... Depends how Adam hits it. He's got to hit it on the right-hand side of the bowl as we're looking at it on the screen. Good way to bowl there by Damo. I think Joel Downey must be playing Johnny Bozzarello. Mm. Yep. <coughs> you saving them or it? Over there. Thanks, mate. 
I needed that. Okay, Adam. I tell you what, he's awfully close. Oh, <laughs> not quite close enough. What a great attempt, though, eh? Bit unlucky there, just knocking that one up of uh, Damien's, but eh? that's bowls, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty close, mate, wasn't it? Uh, Damien gets control of the mat once again. Yeah, two champion players, these two. Absolutely beautiful to watch. Okay, Damo is still keeping it around about medium length by lots of things here, but uh, his first bowl so far has been the showcase, hasn't it? He's been putting a lot of pressure on Adam from the very first bowl. And again, he's got this beautiful line. His bowl just working into the head now. Once again, too, that's a great first up bowl. There's going to be quite a few outside that. Nice little area there just to trail the kitty. Yeah, lovely reply there by Adam. <laughs> Mate, Brownie be talking braille by now. Hoops, you know that. I've only seen him do one game, mate. He must have uh, retired after the first game, I reckon, Hoops. Right, Damien, I'll tell you what, he's just going to cut underneath the uh, kitty here. Yeah. Perfect draw weight on that one there, though, hasn't he? Okay, Adam looking to add a friend to it. A nice little uh, couple of options on here for Damien. That's another good bowl there by Adam. Of course, Adam, as I said previously, for our viewers that aren't aware, he... Uh, Tell you what, not far away from here, Damien. Has he got the kitty? He has. What a great bowl. Well played. Adam McEwen won the uh, World Championship pairs last year, for those that weren't aware, and uh, did a great, great team work with uh, the great Gary Kelly. We're locked in a ooh, good second shot. Yeah, and you're pretty well right there too, you know, uh, Johnny. I don't think he has lost a game on the broadcast. I have called a few of his games, though, from about three rinks away when he has lost, though. That's more fun. <laughs> there he goes, all right, mate. You know that, John. He plays good bowls, mate. I said he hasn't played for a while, that's the only thing. Right, Damien. Adam coming down to have a look. Oh, look at the wind get that now. It's really starting. Windy Hill's really starting to live up to his name. Okay, Adam. On the back end. I'm going to be very careful he doesn't hit Damien's bowl first because his bowl will go out of the head. Oh, that was awfully close. Damien hangs on there. One shot. Oh. Uh, gee whiz, that was not far away, was it, eh? That was very close. But... Well done to Damien once again. 
played a great bowl, was two down with two very good bowls there from Adam, but played that conversion shot very, very well. There's it, mate. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dead right, Johnny. We just don't tell him that, mate. We just keep that one quiet, eh, buddy? Hey, Damien still keeping it to a, that minimum to medium length. Having great success at this length at the moment. 13.7 in front. And again, another great start here, not too far away, just sneaking in behind the kitty. Tell you what, not going to be too far away neither, Adam. Mate. Yeah. Rink one, I reckon, be ideal. I reckon, oh, hoops. That way, won't take Ron, Ryan long to warm, warm back inside after the win, mate. No, I must admit, though, they've had some pretty good games over the years, Ryan and Robbie. I don't think Robbie's ever beaten Ryan, but he's given him a couple of good games. Right, Damien. Just not going to sneak back in time. But he's put it into another good little catchment area just there. Tell you what, Adam's played this pretty well once again, too. Well, that's pretty well blocked that hand for uh, for Damien here, so he may have to sneak over to his forehand. He had a nice little trail on down there before that last bowl of uh, of Adams, didn't he? Just to pick up that trail and take it back to those back two, but uh, yes. Jesus, a great attempt by Damien. Oh, what a bowl. Well played, mate. Right, Adam. Yeah, well, that's pretty handy there. That splits up that pack there. Means I don't think Damien will go real quick at this. Though. Not after that last bowl of his. Gee whiz, he, he's on the draw and he's drawing them so well. I mean, there's no need for him to go uh, to go big weight, in my opinion, because he's uh, he's drawing so well and he only just missed it by a couple of inches. He's still on the draw as he should be. He's absolutely on fire. Not too far once again. Oh, Damien. How unlucky is that, mate? You played that brilliantly. Now, Adam be thinking in his head now. Well, I could go both those bowls. And they could probably get them both. And stay there for four. But I don't think he... Uh, it's a risky shot. But I think he'd be happy to just take the one at the moment and just draw one. For two. I think that'd be uh, the shot to play. I think the other one but a little bit too risky. He really needs to get an end and uh, vary this length. I mean, when I say you go those two bowls, you would on the Greenkeeper's Day. But he really has got to win an end and vary the length and try and get back on top of Damien. At the moment, it's been controlling the ends absolutely magnificently. Because the wind's coming in gusts too. But anyway, we'll see what he plays. See what he's comfortable with. Yeah, just a draw. Not quite. Uh, it looks like it's just the one there, I'd say, at this stage to... Um, to Adam, we'll soon find out. Well, 
Right. Now let's see what, what length Adam's going to throw. Now this is the important part. As I said, he's got to start dominating um, the ends. And the only way he's going to do that is by varying the length. So it looks like he's brought the mat up a fair way. Yep. Okay. Adam sticking to his forehand. It's 13.8. So see what the length, varying the length, can do. It's going to be too far away. Yeah, it's a good cider, good starter. Couple of feet in behind the head there. What what's what Damien's got to boot? Yeah, I thought that's a bit narrow there from Damien. Weight was spot on. Absolutely ideal. Yeah, you normally tell when they let it go what it's like, and you see there, Adam, just after he let it go, started moving forward, trying to egg it on, so I think he knew straight away it was just a little bit short. Uh, Damien got about two foot to draw the shot here. He's got a better grass line this time around. If his weight's the same as his last one, it'll be shot. Yeah, great bowl, mate. Well played. Okay, Adam. Just got that little straightener. Needed a little bit of luck there. Got the luck he was after. Quite the same for for young Damien though. Just got the uh, enough just to get it straight and get that bowl there in the belly. But I tell you what, there's a bit of bit of problem there for um, for Adam because this this is really going to need another bowl in the head. Otherwise, he could probably drop two, possibly two. I think this is going to be more. A, I know what I'd be playing anyway to play safe. I'd be playing backhand. Which I think he's been sticking to the forehand quite a bit today. Just have a bit more confidence playing the forehand. Uh, he's playing the backhand on this one, trying to beat this uh, back bowl here of um, Damien's. Oh. Is it far enough though? But at least he got another bowl in there anyway. Which is what he really needed because the opportunity was there for uh, Damien to play onto his own and take um, take Adam out of the head. Or even play on his own. He'd probably be able to just roll that, just crack an egg on it, just get it up there enough for it to, uh, to count. Okay, Damien. See what he's see what he's going to play. I'm uh, going to play his backhand. Stick on his backhand. Fair enough. Any movement on his bowl, or even as he said, even if he rocks a shot bowl, that should really push it onto the kitty, like this here. Well. <laughs> 
That is a great bowl by uh, by Damien. He played that with absolutely magnificent weight. Yeah, he's well played that one, Damien. Grab that other chair, mate. We're going to get it hot off the press, the person that's been out there all day doing some fantastic work, not only uh, not only a good little player, he goes all right as a marker too, Mitchell Mears. Hello guys, how you going? Good mate, how are you? Yeah, not bad. What's it like out in the wind, bud? Yeah, it's not too bad, it's pretty good. Pretty good? So you've had a couple of good games? Yeah, a couple of long ones. Hey, and you're playing tomorrow? I'm playing tomorrow. There you go, mate. Hey, what happens if you get Robbie Allen first up, mate? What are you going to do, forfeit or what, mate? May as well. May as well, you reckon, mate? Uh, it won't take you long to beat him, mate. It won't take you long to beat him. Hey, doing a great job out there, mate. And uh, got the new shirt on, mate. Looking very, very smick. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, is that the PBL one? Yeah, BPL, yeah. PBL, mate. How good's that, eh? Uh, it's a lot of people thought you were an NFL oh, Re Jesus. referee out there today, mate. You know? Yeah. No. Wait for you to blow your whistle, mate, and give someone a penalty. <laughs> Never happened. Hey. <laughs> So Green running pretty good, and uh, geez, got a colossal match on our hand here, uh, Mitch, with these two. They've been playing some fantastic draw bowls, and uh, mate, Damien's absolutely on fire here today. He's playing so well at the moment. He is, mate. He started again too. First up bowl, like pretty handy, isn't it? I'd like to draw Ryan tomorrow. Good on you, Jamie. I can organise that for you, mate. <laughs> Be good to play such skill. Oh, what about Robbie? <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, good on you. See you tomorrow, Jamie. You might even get to play against Mitchie Mears first up tomorrow morning, mate. There's a good one here. Yeah. Just under. Just a little bit under. So you up here helping your, your good mate out? Yeah, helping Bakes out and Bester. Bester, yeah. Good lads, mate. Great lads. Great to see the camaraderie between the two clubs too, Mitch, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's all good, mate. There's been some very good bowls played today, though. As I said, it's not very often you get to see quality singles matches all the time because singles is one game we don't play that much, do we? No, no, it's all right. So, he think about playing. Do we play it again or does he switch over and just try and give it a little chance? Yeah. No, he's, no, he's sticking to it. Yeah, I think... Uh, Played the forehand most of the game, mate. He hasn't played the backhand. He's had some pretty bad luck on the backhand, in actual fact. Yeah, it is a sticky hand on that forehand side. Yeah. And just hasn't sent it. So Damo can capitalise on this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's, he has really had this uh, on a string here this afternoon. Some of the shots he's played have been absolutely... Outstanding, and of course, once you say something like that, commentators curse, you know, you've got <laughs> 40 foot through the head. <laughs> on you, Damo. <laughs> Love you too, son. He's a good lad. Jamie, I've seen Robbie and Mitchie both play. Great at this game. Mate, you get yourself a spec saver, son. <laughs> I'll make an appointment for you, Jamie. Uh, Mitchie goes all right for an old bloke, mate. Okay, Adam's not going to be too far away. Working his way into the head now. Way through. Back flop. Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's a pretty good bowl there. I'd favour that for shot here at this stage. Well, I don't know. Looking at it from there. <laughs> Still don't know from there now. Still don't know from there. And even, yeah, it looked pretty much from the back camera that I'd favour Adam, but uh, I don't know. They may still might have it. And, of course, Duna on the uh, rink next door too, mate. Looks as though he's on fire. No, he's always playing well, Duna. Yeah, he's never far away, is he, you know what I mean? Just looking at that angle there, you'd think the bowl straight up the line, wouldn't you? You would think, but angles are deceiving. Well, the worst thing you do here, mate, is think. I'll tell you that right now. It's one thing we don't do in the box. Because Robbie has this uncanny knack of being able to put the cameras to make us look like idiots all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Takes him hours to do it, but he always gets there, unfortunately. Uh, he does a good job of what he does. Ah, <laughs> oh, mate, come on. Jeez. <laughs> yeah.
Anyway, Damo's been down. He's had a look. I think you'll find that he's just going to play onto uh, play onto that bowl. I think that's what he'd be playing for. Play onto his bowl. Yeah, I made I remember that too, uh, Jamie, when I showed you those four bowls of rubbish in the in the Aussie Open. And that's true. You could cover him with a hat. The only thing is he's about 20 foot too long, mate. That was the only thing, though, Jamie. He does group him well. Now, he'll go all right tomorrow. He's come back well after a spell, the boy. See a few people starting to rock in tomorrow for a roll-up on the greens for tomorrow. It's always good to see people working on their game. That's where Robbie should be now, out there rolling up. I see Mitchie's been out there throwing a few back around today. Threw the kitty back a few times. Hey. Yeah. I mean, so he's just practising, that's all he's after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can sort of turn on to Damo's and try and spring the jack to the side. No, he's running. Yeah, he's running, but I couldn't see the shot he was playing. If he's playing that weight, it tells me he's down. It is a tricky side when you play weight on that. Yeah, yeah. Particularly as the shadow starts creeping its way across too, though, uh, Mitch, it can be very, uh, very hard hand to play at times. Yeah. No. You've got to put a tape on it, mate. Mm. Still favour the blue one, I think. Well, your favourite one's up the line, don't you? But I'm just looking at that camera angle on the side when Robbie had it there previously in it. It just looked like uh, Damon's bowl, D Damien's bowl was just in front, so we're about to find out anyway, mate. Oh. Damien. Damo. Can't take a, <laughs> a trick at the moment, <laughs> young Adam. He just can't take a trick. Damien just lengthening it out slightly now. Yeah, probably a three-quarter length mat up to the tee. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, one thing that's impressed me in all the games we've done today is the way they have varied the length so their opponent's not setting in on a, on a nice length to be able to just continually draw to. So it's really been up to the players to adapt to the length they've been playing. And this bloke here has done it so well. A couple of feet short mm. with that one there, but perfect line. The thing about that is that uh, Adam's not keen to play his backhand. No, he can just not keen see at all. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's uh, sticking there. No, he's playing his backhand. He's playing his backhand. Yep. He seems to have his feet more up the line playing yeah. his backhand. But um, you sort of get like a little late bend towards yeah, the end. Yeah. Yeah. But most of the time, it's just pretty much straight up the line. Ah, uh, Judd Percy. Is that Chucky Milk on the mic? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, God, I love you, Juddy. Yeah, yeah, great bloke. <laughs> yeah, you could be right, Andrew. He's, uh, he's been a little bit unlucky, but gee whiz, hasn't Damien played some incredible bowls? What are we getting down to today, Robbie? The last four or the last eight? Last four for the day, which would be the eight overall. Yeah, last four. Hoops. But eight overall, yeah. There's a good one from Adam. Yeah, he's got this. Yep. Good shot. Yeah, he played that very well, mate. He's been a bit unlucky there a few times. He's just hung or just cut. and but He played that with ideal weight to get the result that he was after. Yeah. So Damon's got to probably add another couple of metres. Yeah, <coughs> which, believe you me, he has corrected beautifully when he's been in trouble. It's not too bad here. It's close to the jack. Oh, what a shot here. <laughs> Mate, that's the way he's played. Sunk it. He's pretty much on it now. Andrew, what a bowl that was, though, Andrew. With all due respect, mate, that was just an absolute gem of a bowl by Damien there, like... 
You can't get much better than that, buddy. Like he was two down. The um, kitty pretty close to that shot bowl and matey just dragged it off and look where it's sat right beside it in the ditch, mate. Yeah, hasn't left him much room. No. He's got he's got two second shots. He's got he to go. Got, yeah, he's got a toucher. He's got a toucher. He's got to go the toucher. And uh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite the angle he wanted. No. No. So that no one comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely only the one down there, mate. <laughs> With that one in the. Yeah, it was a perfect shot, Joanne. That's hundred percent correct. What a shot, Marco. Yeah, mate, he doesn't have to do much. He's got the one shot. Bit of a break on by uh, Damien here, really. Yeah, all he can do is just try and get as close as he can to the ditch. Yeah. But. So we need another, <laughs> another one to Damo. Yep. There you go, Joe's having a... G'day, Mitchy. One of the best markers in bowls. Up there with me. On <laughs> <laughs> you, Joe. Yeah, you'll be here tomorrow, mate. Yeah, if I'm not playing bowls, I'm always marking somewhere. Yes, mate. I just saying before that when we used to have the district singles and that, you're always first to put up your hand to mark, Mitch. And, uh, yeah, always great to see you around the traps enjoying yourself, mate, which is great. And no doubt... Uh, Nothing about it, but last weekend, pretty good celebration down at Broadway, mate. It was, yeah, another good win, back-to-back. -back. Yep, yep. Yeah, there was a couple of games where we had to come from behind to sort of get us back into the game and take the overall. Yeah, mate. How'd you pull up Monday? Yeah, not bad. Not bad? Had to go to work. Did you? Okay. Yeah, good. left here about 4.30 in the morning. Got home? Work. Yeah. Get a lift home, mate, or did you have to... Nah, to ca uh, catch a train back. Train? Long day for you, son. Long day, finish work at six. Yep. Oh, what a great bowl here from good Adam. Good shot. So just got to keep putting that pressure on Damon now. Yeah. Get a couple of ends together. Yep. G'day, Vicky. How are you? Okay, Damien. One thing he's done perfectly all day is correct his weight. He's on a perfect line. Yeah, he's just got to come a bit further now. Yeah, he's just got to pull up. Not much. No, a foot. Pretty good attempt, though. Still on the run, too, which means it's still still workable. So that, uh, the call from the marker is that uh, Adam's still holding shot. Uh, yeah, Adam, got a beautiful line on this one here once again. Weight's looking pretty good too. Yeah, good shot. Well, that's going to really force Damien onto his forehand now. The opportunity of springing this out. He's got the best backward there, so he does have to play weight. Just, just reaching down to make sure he reaches it. Mm. So sort of just come down, swing onto the bowl, get the drag. He's pretty close, mate. He is very, very close. Oh, he doesn't want the gap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, he got the gap, mate. He got the gap. <laughs> yes. Holes are made for bowls. Yeah, it certainly was. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's a pretty good game, though, Andrew. With all due respect. Juddy's called that last shot of Damien's dazzling. Aren't you, Juddy? Mm. One, possibly two. Yep. Still got to play the same shot, really. Yep. He doesn't have to change too much, mate. He didn't miss it by much. Mm. I think he's got better grass line on this one here, too. He's going to be Looks awfully a lot close. Better. Oh. Oh. Awfully close. 
What a shot. What a bowl. What a <laughs> shot. That's what he's been doing the whole game, though, Mitch. He's been absolutely superb, mate. He really has been. Yeah, I think all Adam can do is sort of play the same shot. Yep. That's all he can do, mate. He's got to be careful, too. He's got to get the bowl and not the kitty because he could... Uh, he plays weight. He could he could drop a couple if he picks up the kitty and goes the other direction, though. Mm. So he's really got to play the bowl. Yeah, he's got to be more on the higher side than the tight. Yep. It's not too bad. It should come from there, mate. Oh, this is going to get more of the jacket. Oh, <laughs> wow. And that's what he's been doing the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> he has been missing by... What, I don't know, but he has been missing by that amount repeatedly. Wow. Yeah, colossal game, though. Absolutely fantastic game. Yeah. Two very good um, draw draw bowlers. There's been no big drives in it. Just been no. absolutely draw, draw, draw. Yeah. Just draw each other off. And so it's a single today, mate. Once again, getting closer to the uh, finish, Mitch. Yeah. What do you prefer, mate? Do you prefer 21 or 25? Oh, I prefer 25. Yep. With 21, I think, um, you've got to get out of the blocks early. Yeah, you've got to jump early, mate, gotta, don't you? you know? Otherwise, if you give the opponent a bit of time at the start, yeah. Then it's, yeah, it's pretty hard to come back from it. Yeah, that's true too, mate. You know, I've been watching a little bit of um, Kane and Tyler's at the end rink, and um, that's been a bowl for bowl at the moment. What's the score over there, mate? Can't really see it. What's the score over there? Someone's on 20, by the looks of they? Oh, it's hard to see. That's yep. all right. Mm. That's, I think that's Joel and Dave Garner. Yes, yeah, Dave Garner down there. Yeah. No, it's John Bozzarella. Is it? Oh. It's Bozzy. There you go. Another good game up there. <laughs> yeah, great starter there from Damien too, just quietly. Sorry, we're just having a bit of a look around there. Another great bowl here from Damien. Gee whiz, he's really he got it on a string. <laughs> we'll get that away neither. Hannes, how are you, Hannes? Hi to all the Aussie bowlers, Aussie land bowlers, mate. Hello to all our friends in South Africa too, Hannes. Okay, Adam, how close is he? He's got the line. He's Has not he got too the run? Bad. I think he's just drifting under. Yep. Probably good enough for a second. Probably got second shot out yeah, of that one, yes. Second. Okay, Damien. Doesn't have to correct too much. A nice little trail here about a foot would yeah. be absolutely ideal to take that shot away from Adam. This one here will start working in now, comes down to his weight. Yeah, it's been quite swoopy, that hand. Yeah, it's coming in nicely. Well, it's definitely... Falls over, yeah, yeah, maybe. You've only got to see the wind there. It's coming straight across let's the green what, there, Mitch, so... Let's see what John says here. Oh, he's having a good look. He's having the fingers out there, mate. <laughs> the gold fingers. They never lie. <laughs> One in a measure. Yeah. Okay. See Mark Spring still going out there, too. Mm-hmm. Scotty Jones going out the mark again. Okay, Adam yep. switched to the backhand. He's got to start letting go, but it's a hard hand to play. Uh, he's just getting holes. Yep. So Dama really needs to try and trail the jack of foot. Well, if he does, mate, it's game over, isn't it? Yeah, well, Adam's got one more after that. Yes, he has. Yes. 
But that puts a lot of pressure on, so... Big bow here for day, mate. Well, he's got it on a perfect line. When I say that, he's got it on a perfect line for the kid. He's pretty close, too. Look at this. Very close, mate. Look at this for a shot. What a bow. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> what a great oh, bow. what a shot. That is a great bow. That's game lie at the moment. Yeah, that's game lie. I reckon lie. that's got to be four. What do you think, Mitch? Yeah, I, th I think it's four. Four. Yeah. Uh, incredible bowl there by Damien. That's yeah, that's just class, so, mate. I don't know what's going to go through Adam's mind. Does he try and give it a chance? Otherwise, he just runs it and get the kill. Well, get a couple you, of bowls. If you get the kitty, he's got two at the back. <laughs> um, hard to say. Pretty but hard. There's, to a, there's a toucher yeah, going with it. So that's the only thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, he's got to get one of them out anyway. Yeah, he doesn't want Damon's closest toucher, but he's playing That's swingy ways. No, it's too tight, mate. Too tight. I don't know. Could t yep, that's game over. Game over. Mate, what a game. What a game, balls. Yeah, Joe. Joanne, you should be very, very happy with that one. So, uh, absolutely incredible game of balls. Beat me away, yeah. Uh, well played, Damien, and uh, congratulations. And with that, uh, Mitch, want to thank you very much for jumping in the chair, mate, having uh, a few words to us. Yeah, that's all right. No worries. Really fantastic, mate. Really appreciate that. And uh, we're just waiting for this next game now. And yeah, it looks like I might be... Marking it. Marking again <laughs> now, so... Ah, uh, thank you very much, Mitch. Great yeah, to have you, and, uh, mate, right. best of luck tomorrow, buddy. Thank you. Cheers, Vic. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, it's always great to have Mitch Mears in. He's... Great young man, that uh, great insight to our great game too. But that was very well played there by Damien. He really did play that very, very well so on behalf. It was a great game, wasn't it, Potter? But, mate, we've got about five minutes before the start of the next game, maybe a bit longer with any luck <laughs> where we might be able to get a drink. So I uh, hope it all goes well. I think you really enjoyed it. Another colossal game of bowls. That, that, was, that was one of the best. And, um, yeah, big congratulations to Damien and well played. Well played, Adam. Two very good uh, club mates there from Tweed Heads. So, uh, see you see tomorrow, Jamie. We're about to start the next game at Patina Andrews. Oh, Brownie, about time you woke up. Uh, it's getting old, Brownie. That's his problem, mate. He's like you, son. But uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Robbie Allen, myself, Brian Marshall, and the Gold Coast Tweed Edition Media Team, we'd like to thank you very much for your patronage. And... We will be back on air in probably about 10 minutes' time, I'd say, for sure. We've another colossal game here from Club Musgrave. So thank you very much. Enjoy your bowls and support your club.